it's the win Listen, laugh and learn and understand Oh, believe that you can It's the Women's Information Network It's the win Welcome to The Wind Show. We are so glad you joined us. I'm Paula Fellingham, CEO of the Women's Information Network, thewinonline.com. We're the online home for all women, all ages, a community of women helping women. Our hosts are Heather Anderson. She's a runner-up for Miss USA. Laura Lee Christensen is the Executive Vice President of The Win, And Kim Coles is an actress, a comedian, a speaker, and one of our show hosts. Our guest today is Rachel Flower. She's an author and speaker and the creator of Quantum Sensing for passion, purpose, and fulfillment in life and work. She works internationally with individuals and entrepreneurs and organizations facilitating sensory breakthrough for peak performance. She's also a brain fitness specialist. Wow. We Paula and I loved you the first yes. time we met you and we're so glad to have you on the show. Thank mm -hmm. you for Before having I me. ask you one question though, I want people to know you do retreats in Hawaii. I do. Yes. I do. I do. You're all invited. Yes. Oh. We are all coming home. Yes. We're excited yes. about this. They're great. We can mm -hmm. do some hula. Yeah. Oh. This gal lives in more places or has lived than it, about anybody I know. Just Well, I'm from England. Um, and I first went to Hong Kong when I left England at the age of 22, and then I didn't know that I'd never go back. I ended up staying there for five years. Mm -hmm. Then I went to Thailand for nine years, then Australia, <laughs> then New Zealand, oh, and now up. here. <laughs> there oh is gosh. All yeah. beautiful places. Yeah, I, I like sunshine, in case you hadn't noticed. Yes. <laughs> yes. It was important after living in England. Um, no. It's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. See that. We well, do so much. What do you, let's talk about quantum sensing first. Yes. Right. What's, what's what that? Is it? What, what <laughs> is that? Help us sense quantumly. Well, wow. Sense quantumly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really, it's it's really tapping into the senses in a way that a lot of people don't. We're actually losing our senses mm. in more ways than one. Our sensitivity to different things is reducing. Quantum sensing is using the inner senses as well as the outer senses intuition mm -hmm. and the ability to imagine things through the senses. Mm. So combining mm. all of that to create that deeper connection with your intuition and your hunches and your gut feelings, how do you really connect with that wisdom that's inside? So quantum sensing is doing that in a very practical way through the senses. So you teach mm. women how to do this? I teach everyone how to do oh, it. Let's yes. give our girlfriends I teach some of your people. tips. Well, one of the things, firstly, it's just important to become present. And the sense of touch is, if you just right now feel your feet in the chair, feel your, mm -hmm. your butt in mm -hmm. the chair, yeah. feel yourself here, your hands on the table, that's just sensing on a basic level to be really clear. But also, if you were to say, imagine something that you really love to do, take yourself there. Close your eyes, maybe, and imagine that you're in that place and you're doing what you love. <laughs> Someone's doing what you love. She's, She's not Hawaii. Hawaii. She's in Hawaii. Yeah. So <laughs> when you're in that space, you're imagining it, but you're using your senses, right, in your imagination, but you're not really there. So how do you cultivate that ability to actually sense, feel, see things when you're not physically in that place? Mm. So, and that's where the power of imagination increases the more we become present to the senses. Like just seeing now as I look mm -hmm. in your eyes or, you know, as I become aware of sounds around me or things and more deeply. You know, so I think we've lost that a lot. We have. I mean, I just finished college and I would go home and I'd walk in the room and my three girlfriends would be around the table and they'd all be on Facebook at the same time just looking at other people's lives and I'm thinking, well, you're not actually living your life. You're not even talking to your friends. Ooh, you know what's going a, on in their life, point. but good, good, you're not yeah. visualizing them. You're not listening to them. You're not touching them. Like you're just not present. That do, is, do you think exactly it's because of that, because of technology? Or why, why do you think say we're losing it? I think it's because of it, but it's a part of it. I think <clears throat> technology is, is making the world more abstract. Mm. We're not sensing it. We're not hugging. We're not yeah. seeing each other eye to eye. We're talking in a more distant way. So how can we bring that back? We're actually losing our senses, believe it or not. One percent a year, th there have been studies since the 60s, really? that we're losing our sensitivity to stimuli. Sounds, mm. we're recognizing fewer sounds. Really? really? We're recognizing fewer colors. So it's scary because it could keep going on, and, and technology is a very big part of it. So being out in nature, connecting with 
nature in a way and really seeing and really feeling it and really touching it and smelling it is so important and, and you'd so and, and do we then infuse this in other areas of our life is that it because we go around area. smelling and touching and tasting things <laughs> then what do we do with it right well here's the thing imagine if you could sniff out new opportunities oh imagine now we're talking now we're talking because yeah. i want to sniff a whole lot of things i want to sniff out an opportunity though <laughs> <laughs> and i smell oh, pretty good you smell great <laughs> so you can um how do we now use this you can in see life? creative solution how about listening to your intuition you see this is other ways of using the senses mm -hmm. the more that we connect with them externally and start becoming more present to them, the more we're going to be able to make smart decisions because we'll feel it. You see, the body is very wise, but we tend to forget that and just go for our emotions or our logic and forget that there's all this wisdom. You can really sense, I mean, so many times in my life when I've had to make a decision, when I really go inside and use some of these tips, I just know what to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel it. That's so and good. imagine that, you know, for also teenagers coming out of school, what do they do with their mm -hmm. lives? Imagine if you had a system to be able to actually sense your way, feel your way into your deepest passion, your deepest sense of purpose. And you have this system. When you talk yes. about a system, I've heard, heard you talk about purpose blueprint. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, a purpose blueprint. We all have one. It's really... And what is that? It is um, the source of authentic action. It is where you come from when you're really in your groove, when you're mm. in your joy. <clears throat> it's that spark inside that drives you. And it's a combination, a blend of unique qualities that makes you you. Mm -hmm. That's your unique. It's, it's deeper than personality. It's your depth. It's your spirit. So you help women learn about this. Yes. Yes. Identify it and, and start identifying it. Feel it. Know it in their body and, and just sense how to, it's like a guidance system. Mm. It's like having a compass in your body. And then you can follow it and you just feel the right way to go. So that's your purpose blueprint. And purpose it's, blueprint. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's very yes. interesting. Now, is this part of your business, Sensoma? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sensoma is just the name I use to kind of... What does that mean, Sensoma? <laughs> Sensoma is an, uh, I made it up, <laughs> ah, okay. and nice. it's a combination of two words, sense, sense for sensory awareness, mm -hmm. soma is the Greek word for body, mm -hmm. so body, but body experience from within, so it's not just your body, but how do you experience your body? So, so you're, you're helping women create a compass that would yes. then guide them to make the right decisions. Yes. This is very important. Well, and right now I'm working with teenagers as well. I've got some people, you know, that they're just coming out of school. What do they do? What, and a couple of them are actually, you know, falling into bad peer groups and, you know, not doing... Because they just don't have that sense they don't of where know. to go. They've lost yeah. their compass. Mm -hmm. They're kind of off track. And, and it doesn't take much to just come back inside and we need to make it seem cool for them, you know, it's yes. fun, yeah. it's, yes. it's, it's Even energetic. Even if they have those feelings, maybe they don't trust them. They haven't been taught that they can trust. Exactly. In fact, I'm working with somebody right now that she is so intuitive and so incredibly clear about so many things, and yet her life is not going in the right direction. Mm. And now I'm reflecting that back to her, and she's really catching fire in the best way. You know, oh, she's seeing you. what's important and starting to really trust oh, this is that so deep intuition that she does have. What an important work you are yeah. doing. Thank this you. I love it, too. It's oh, a lot of fun, yes, actually. Yes, more so you're point. passionate. Well, yeah. Absolutely. We have loved being with you. Thank you. Thank you what so much for coming. What a pleasure to be with you. Yes. Thank you, Rachel Flowers. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. 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 And we invite everyone to visit thewinonline.com, where you'll always get solutions, share your good ideas, and really connect with women worldwide. Now let's live joyfully with passion and purpose. Have a wonderful day. See you next time. It's the Women's Information Network. It's the Win.